Hello everyone. Today I want to show with you a big secret about、um, how company determines your salary increase. I hope, like when we talk about money, everyone will be interested. So one way of planning for this、um, is actually to create a merit matrix. So, for example,、um, as you can see here,、um, this is a very typical merit matrix that、uh, human resources professional use all the time. So,、uh, it looks that、uh, has two dimensions. One is a compa ratio.、Um, it can be something else as well. Compa ratio is how your compensation is,、uh, compared to the internal salary structure within the company, and your performance rating. I think everyone should be familiar with it. It's essentially whether you're a high performer or you're a low performer. So, based on those two dimensions,、uh, we create. Uh, the merit matrix, which gives proposal for every individual employee's、uh, merit increase. So now, like for example, in my case, I have an employee list of、um, over a hundred employees,、um, and I have all their performance rating results,、uh, their compa ratio groupings. And then, based on the merit matrix, then I can determine what is the proposed. Base pay increase for those people, and then based,、uh, and then we also have their base salary, which means that we can then calculate how much、uh, merit increase we're gonna give、uh, for each individuals. And based on the scenario that I'm proposing right now, you can see that I'm actually spending all the money I have for the merit increase budget. So how did I do that? How did I? Spend all my budget and still give everyone a reasonable salary increase. So I'm gonna now show you step by step of how to do this. Okay, so this is the guide. Like the step guides are here、uh, for your future reference. Should you wanna use it on your own? But then this is like a blank spreadsheet that we're given to.、You. So whenever you need to create a merit matrix, the first step is to create、um, this matrix format、um, with any、um, dimensions that you need.、So、I, I think a majority of the company would use performance rating. Some company use compa ratio. Some company use position in range. Some company even use、uh, job grades or years. Of services,、um, like I think it all depends on company. There's no right or wrong way to do it,、uh, but ultimately you should have those two dimensions. And then the next thing you need to do is to find an anchor point. So, for example, in my example here,、mm-hmm. um, the anchor point will be the middle point,、um, which is as you can see, it's the middle performance rating, which means that it's probably、um, the、uh, the majority of the people who will be here for the performance rating,、um, and it is also people with a compa ratio between ninety to a hundred and ten percent, which means that they're paid、uh, quite. Quite aligned with the salary structure range as well, so this is probably where you're gonna have most of the people, and then this is also where、uh, you are most likely to give them inflation increase or、uh, uh, cost of living increase. Or something just like a general increase, whatever way you call it. So, for example, in North America, like the inflation、um, increase is usually. Two to three percent every year, but then in I know in some、uh, developing countries this number can go to like ten to fifteen percent, and then in some other countries it can even go to like fifty percent.、Um, so it really varies by country.、Um, and now for just for the ease of、um, demonstration, I'm gonna say for my anchor point, I'm gonna assume that those people get. A three percent, and this number you you will see later on how you can adjust this number to get to the result that you want. So now you have the anchor point.、Um, I suggest that you change it to a different color so you can、um, make it stand out. And then the next thing you need to do is to set up the relationship of all the other cells. 
to this one so so that within the mirror matrix everything will be linked like whenever you change this anchor point every other percentage will change and how do we do that um, usually i would um, set up two index for myself and i will use that as um, i will mark it as yellow so that i can distinguish and then with this usually i set the um with the two that's aligned with anchor point as a hundred percent which means that they are um this is to uh this is the anchor point and then i'm setting up the relationships that i want so for example uh, if my compa ratio like um let's set up the uh, hor uh horizontal one first so um, let's say if my compa ratio is high, which means that I'm paid already above the market, um, then I probably don't want to give as much increase to that person as I want. So maybe I give them 90% compared to the people who are aligned with the market. And then if they're way above, say above 120, that means that they're way above market. Maybe I want to give them even less um, salary increase for the people who are below um, vice versa maybe i want to give them more because when their compa ratio is below a hundred percent it means that they're paid below the market and then now let's look at the vertical setup which is for the performance so in my example i set up five to be the highest performance rating people and then let's say we want to pay for performance we want to uh we want our um top performers to be rewarded so i'm gonna pay them uh three percent i'm gonna give them salary increase uh three percent um uh, sorry, like three times as the ones who are in the middle. And then for the um, second highest rating, maybe I want to give 200%. And then for this, um, for the twos and ones in my scenario, they are the poor performers. So I would say maybe for the twos, I give 50%. For the ones, I think they're really bad performer. And actually, I don't want to give them anything. So that is how we set up the relationship. And usually here, you wouldn't expect to change the 100, but then you can change all the other percentages that you set up as much as you want. So now we have the relationship set up, then we can now start to link um, our um, all the other proposals with our anchor point. So for example, uh, with this cell, uh, we will want it to be uh, with the anchor point times the relationship. And then here I want to share with you a trick, which is to add a sign, uh, add a dollar sign in front of the number. So that way, when you copy the formula across, you can see it automatically uh, copy cross uh, to the left. So this way you don't need to write the formula again. Um, you can copy those two and then uh, no, oh, sorry, like I haven't, sorry, like I should have uh, made this an absolute sign as well. So with that, a trick to do that is to press F4 and then you can make that an absolute reference. <coughs> uh, oh, uh, which, oh, you know what? Let, let me do it again. So it will be the anchor point and then you um, press F4 to absolute, make it an absolute reference. And then you also time the top part and then you make an absolute reference. Here you go. So now you have uh, the, the recommendation and then you copy the formula here. Then it shows you that it is 80% of the 3%. Okay, so now let's do the vertical one. So again, it's the same thing. Let, um, it will be as in a relationship. Um, F4 to absolute it uh, with the <coughs> uh, 
with the the relationship here. So here, um, it's gonna be like that, and then for the fives, um, it's gonna be three percent times three times, and then we can, and then when you copy the formula down. Mm -hmm. Oops. You can see that the reference copy accordingly as well. Um, and then now what you need to do is actually with the two reference, uh, you actually need to copy them down, I think. Yeah. So, and then you can reference, uh, you can check by double click the formula. Okay, so actually the formula isn't right for this one because you actually want it to be 120% of the anchor point. So you move the box around. So that's a way to double check your formula. And then you copy the formula, copy the formula down. And then let's double check now. Yep, so now it's right. So it's 120% of 1.4%, uh, 5%. And then let's copy the formula up as well. Yep, and then double, it should be 110 of the nine. Yep, so it's all looking good. Uh, and then let's do the same thing for the things here and um, actually I think I might need to remove the uh, reference because it is not um, gonna work when I have the absolute sign but then basically you copy the formula down let me see if it works and then double click then it should be 90% of the 1.5% yep it's looking right and then, yep, it's 80%. Okay, so let's copy the formula up and down. And then let's check. So 90% of 9%, then that's right. Um, and 80% of 9%, yep, that's right. Um, let me just make it to have one decimal point because I don't like all the many changes. So now the good thing about this um, matrix is that everything you see here is linked has some relationship with the anchor point so for example this cell is one ten percent of six percent but the note that six percent is also two times of three percent which is the anchor point so now let's say if i don't like anchor point to be three percent i want it to be two percent did you notice every single cell changes except for the zeros? If we change that to 20, then it's gonna change as well. But let's just say it's 10, it's zero for demonstration. So with this, you are essentially changing the, um, you're essentially linking the mirror matrix. Okay, so now you're done with the mirror matrix. The next step is to use index and match function to apply the increase suggestion to all your employees. So as you see here, you have all the employees performance rating, you have all their comparatial grouping, therefore you should be able to have their mirror increase suggestion based on this matrix. So actually if you look at the formula that I have here, it's already set up. If you're not quite familiar with the index and match function, I suggest you to go to the um, the the other video on the top right and it will show you more detail of how to create this formula. Uh, but basically it it tells you that based on your performance rating and the comparatial grouping, uh, this is the proposed mirror increase for you. And then you simply just copy that formula down to all your employees. And then if you have, if you know the base pay of everyone, then basically you can just have uh, the base salary times the mirror increase to get your mirror spent by person. 
which is the number that this row that you're looking at right now. So now we have the mirror increase spend for everyone. Then you know how much you are spending here. So you can see the total merit in spend should be the sum of all the merit increase spend. So here you go shift control down and then you can select all the uh, spend dollars. This is how much you're spending. Um, so for the budget, actually, it can be anything. Um, I like their companies have all kinds of ways to determine how much budget they want to spend on it um, uh, on the base pay increase for people so um, you you like you you don't need to be very you, you can be very creative here so I'm not going to give you a specific method but then I can tell you uh, for our demonstration purpose let's say um, for my budget I want to apply 2.5 percent um, of all the salaries um, of the employees uh, why is 2.5 I don't know like I maybe I'm just being cheap I don't want to give them three percent um, so let's say that is my budget um, and then now you can see that I am overspending <laughs> uh, because you have a negative um, <clears throat> over span of 233,000. Um, we don't want that to happen, right? Like we want uh, the gap to be zero. We want to spend all the money we have. Uh, how do we do that? So that is where you can now use the go sick function. Um, so to do that, you go to data and then you go to data to what if analysis and then you go to go sick so go sick is a function that allows you to find the value of a certain cell by changing something else so for example here um, i want to set cell b10 the gap to be zero i want to spend all the dollars i have and i want to do that by changing my anchor point because why change my anchor point because all the spending all the merit increase suggestions are linked back to the anchor point when we change the anchor point everything else changes so let's ok it and then let's see that is how fast it gets so now the excel has found a scenario where we can spend all the money uh, with the anchor point being 1.7 if you like it, then just OK it. The one thing I like best about this is that it's a very versatile tool and really basically saying that, OK, you can do anything you want. Um, you can make any type of change you like um, to the mirror matrix based on what we are discussing here. Let's say you see like I'm giving crazy numbers here. Um, I'm changing all the relationships uh, of the mirror matrix, which means that the mirror matrix for each individual changes, all their spend changes. Now it looks like I'm all spending again. And then I still want, after I change all those dimensions, I still want to find a scenario where I can spend all my money. Then I go to what if, go sick. I want to set the gap to be zero by changing the index. Then OK now you have it so I found this a very handy tool to use for um, salary planning for merit matrix um, and this is something that you can offer um, you can model out yourself and then maybe copy and paste into a PowerPoint for presentation or for further discussion because most of the time maybe um, you want to change the budget at some point or you want to change the specific um, um, merit increase for any special employees you can do all that and then the go sick function will still help you to find a solution where you can spend all your budget so um, I think this is a lot to digest I hope that you can 
、uh, you find it helpful. If you need, feel free to go back and、um, watch a video again and leave me any questions you have. I'm, I will be really happy to answer it. And lastly, if you find it helpful, please like the video、um, and please subscribe. That would be very helpful and very motivating for me to share with you all the knowledge. Thank you so much for watching.